Hey, is this the breakdown service? Hey. Just great. It's not the end of the world. Get it fixed, we'll be on our way. No, it's ridiculous, Jay. I can see my house from here. Oh, uh, yeah. There's that park I used to go to. Told me mum stopped me. Said there was a kiddie fiddler around. Who tells a child that? Uh, somebody who doesn't want their son fingered in a bramble bush. I got my first kiss there. From the pedo? No, from Tina Clark. I was 14. Well, I saw a tramp take a shit in a bin over there. He was there a good 10 minutes. Why were you watching for 10 minutes? I was transfixed. Wiped his ass with a Twix wrapper. Children were crying. Parents told him to go, but he, he just wouldn't. He just stood there, knob flapping in the wind. Complaining how Natalie Cassidy had stolen his shoes. Why would Sonia from EastEnders want to steal his shoes? What are you doing? I'm just telling you what's happened. Oh, you have to update her, eh? Fine. Hey, Sophie. You alright? Yeah, I know, I just called ten minutes ago. Yeah, but we just broke down. Well, that's all done. Someone should be with us within the hour. In the hour? What are you going to do for an hour? You got nothing in your bags? I do, actually. I've got Connect Four. <gasps> Fuck, really? You're cocky now, but you won't be when we're in the middle of the woods, bored out of our brains, and my Connect Four is the only thing keeping you sane. Why do all your worst case scenarios take place in the woods? The woods are scary, Jamie. We need to be careful. All right, well, I'll text you when we get back on the move. Yeah, and I don't have to, but I'll. Is want he talking to. to? His girlfriend. Hi. Love you. Oh, right. Who's been dating for about a week? It's been a month. Even so, grow some balls. Come now, Jamie, the heart wants what the heart wants. Thank you, God. You see, he's jealous of my relationship. <laughs> Doubt it. You see, Dan, Jamie here is a pretty heartless, loveless, soulless human being. I have actually noticed that a little bit. Hmm. Uh, do you know what, you pair of arseholes? Bollocks to you. I'm going to eat you your strawberry boot laces. <laughs> Those are for the... So what about you? Got a girlfriend? Me? Oh, no. Not really. Well, there was this one girl. Yeah? What was her name? Rebecca. We met at university. She used to come over to the flat sometimes and, well, let's just say we definitely kissed at least twice. Ah, uh, well that sounds... Like... That sounds good. Unfortunately, we had to go our separate ways. She said that I was a terrible mistake and her friends weren't to know. Oh look! Dan bought some swimwear! Either that or we're shit at dogging. Jamie. You what? Nothing. Thanks for coming. Do you think he's ever got laid? Who? The AA man. Who do you think? Daniel. He's very... pent up. Well, he was telling me outside just now how he kissed a girl... twice. <laughs> twice? Tongues? I don't know. You didn't think to ask him when you're having your little girly chat? No, Jamie. For some reason I thought, the mood's not right to ask. Did you want some candles? Alright. You're cold. It's a little bit cold in here. Kiss your jacket. So, what are you lot up to? Three blokes, one car? Sounds crazy. It's really not. Off it is. So? Where are you off to? 
Edinburgh for a stag weekend. Will this take long? Who knows, fella? We'll take a proper look around. You know, when I was your age, I went away. Just me and the lads. We met loads of birds with massive tits. <laughs> there was even this one girl. You used to call her old Sally Fourfingers. Really? Brilliant. Want to know why we called her that? It's fine, I can guess, thank you. But we're no thumbs! What a freak! <laughs> so, this bird he got hold of, what do you think her deal was? What do you mean? I don't know, desperate? Drunk? Wind of liquor? Not an horrible way. Just can't imagine him pulling anyone. It's a good thing you're not being horrible. There'd be something wrong, though. Look, come a break, OK? He sorted out this whole problem. Uh, he picked up a phone and called a breakdown service. Didn't exactly pull us from a burning building. Let's give him a chance. I have done. I don't like him. He's weird. He's got a weird twitch. What? He's not got a twitch. He's harmless. Well, you think he's harmless. He stabs you in the head with a fork because he thinks you're a fucking Dalek or something. <laughs> fork wouldn't even dent a Dalek. My mate Dave, right? But he was awake. I walked in and I found him asleep on the washing machine. And I was like, Dave, what are you doing? <laughs> mental. Yes, mental. How long will the car take? Only a couple of minutes, fella. Keep your trousers on. <laughs> oh, we were mental back then. You got any stories? Stories? You know, you drunken nights around town? No. What, none? Oh, I get it. You think they're too wild for my ears, didn't you? That you're too crazy, that I'm too old? Well, I'm not! So? Is there nothing to tell? Definitely not. <laughs> so, um. I don't suppose there's, uh, I don't suppose there's any room on this little trip of yours? I, oh. I, I guess I could ask the guys. <laughs> That'd be brilliant. Sure. Right, and that is why a fork is like aluminium compared to a Dalek's head. Yeah. What's the news? He wants to come with us. What? He wants to come away with us. Have <laughs> you pulled the AA man? No, he wants to relive his youth or something, I don't know. Tell him to jog on. No. Fuck it, I'll do it, you pussy. No, wait. We need to pretend to be discussing it for a couple of minutes, then he'll be finished. <laughs> no, no, no. Dan's right. Just let him do the job and get out of here. Fine. What else did he say? He knows a girl with no thumbs and his mate once slept on a washing machine. Apparently it was crazy. Sounds it. So, Dan, this bird you got with. Don't, Jay. Was she a bit slow? Are you asking if I was dating a disabled girl? I didn't say anything about a wheelchair. It still counts as disabled if it's a mental disorder, and no. I'd fuck a disabled. Equal rights and everything. Plus, I bet they'd be more grateful for it. All right. Give that a try. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Lifesaver. So, how about this trip? Oh, uh, we really can't take on any more people. Oh. All right. We just don't have the room. Hmm. Sure. I mean, it looks like you've got plenty of room. We really don't. What about those empty seats there? They're empty. Those seats? Um. We're saving them. For who? Our girlfriends. Ah! Oh, honeys! Mm. Oh, I bet you guys have got some nice tail. What are they like? Uh. His one's in a wheelchair and mine's head mental. Oh, you sound foxy. Well, guess I shouldn't get in the way of a party like that, bro code and all. Yeah, cheers, mate. Keep it crazy. Will do.
Did he just kiss me? The heart wants what the heart wants. Thank God we got rid of him. And now one to go. Right, let's just get out of here. We've wasted enough time already. Let us celebrate for we are back on the road. <laughs>